Hello everyone, it's Gav, and welcome to another video. Um, I thought I would try a slightly different format for, for some videos. Um, kind of almost, not copying, but I see that Warren's, Warren Blanche has started doing that. He kind of, uh, the start of his video where he's maybe just chatting um, and there's not necessarily anything to show at the point at that time, is looking at the camera so people can actually see what you're talking about and, uh, and whatnot. So it's not that I'm camera shy, it's just that I use my, my iPhone to film my videos and frankly you can't see the screen if you're filming on it because the camera's on the other side so you don't know quite what you're filming and it doesn't auto focus so you have to kind of tap the screen to, to get it to focus so I've always been a bit unwary as to whether if I was to film something like this that uh, I spend the entire time out of focus I don't realise so Anyway, so let's let's get on. This is going to be update number two on my uh, Hawk build. Um, so basically, last time you saw it was partly built, um, and there was no primer or anything. The cockpit was was painted. And that was what was about it. So since then, I had an unfortunate accident with super glue. I um, I didn't lose, but I ended up damaging. Uh, the, landing, the main landing gear which was lying on the desk at the time I was attempting to put some, some brake line detail on it and uh, so they were lying on the desk and they got they got, lot, they, they got damaged so. so the build is now complete bar bar the landing gear um, and bar the drop tanks which I'm going to put in the wing now they're put together but they're not on the plane yet I thought I'd paint them, paint them separately because I might paint them a slightly different colour just as a break up for the, the relatively plain scheme I'm going to go for. Um, but since then I've uh, put all the, uh, the the pylons on and the other little bits and pieces and the, the tail planes as well. So it's sitting here on the desk and um, and so yeah I'll bring, bring you around and, and show you. So. There we are. Let's see if this will work. It's still going. So here we are. Um, it's had a coat of primer. I used the Vallejo surface, the Vallejo grey primer, and uh, and just watching a, a video of Warren's at the moment. That one, his latest one, and uh, he mentioned he'd been using that and didn't really like it. Felt it was a bit thick, or it was. Um, it was almost uh, kind of waxy, almost, and uh, and and in a way it is. But if you put it on thinly enough, it's not too bad. As you can see here, the um, the panel lines are all still still visible, but there's obviously a cut point primer. Now there was a little. This is going to need sanding back in places because actually it's not it's not a great coat. Actually, I must admit. Um, so there was uh, some kind of extra bits I had to sand back here, but and obviously primer brings up blemishes you weren't aware of. So the seams running down down here weren't as smooth as I'd like. So there I've I've used some instead of the Vallejo putty, which doesn't seem to sand quite so well. I've gone and used some liquid green stuff, and that sands a bit better. So uh, they'll need smoothed off first before I uh, go again. And I also I might the the seam that's down the side of the air intakes there. Why is that not focusing? So let's do it this way. So yeah, da down here is not as perfect as I'd like. And also I had it on a hence a bit of blue tick in the tailpipe, I had it on like a bit of sprue so I could so I could spray it on. And uh, it kept wanting to fall off and at one point I had to grab it while the primer was wet, so there's big fingerprints all over it, so they're gonna need to sand it back. And also on the underside of the wings, the primer was a, was a bit too thick, and uh, it's actually obscured some of the panel line detail. So I'm going to try and sand some of the, some of that back, um, and maybe just kind of scrape out the the panel lines where it's gotten too thick. And as you can see, it's not a perfect coat on the bottom either. So uh, a little bit of work to do uh, before I can really crack on with the painting. Uh, for those of you who are maybe sitting watching this, going, "My God, you've painted over your canopy." Uh, I actually have another clear sprue and more land main landing gear legs on their way from a tallery, uh to replace the ones that were damaged. Uh, this is actually the original cockpit, and I don't know if you can quite tell, but when I was a kid previously, I tried to scratch into the glass the um, uh, ejection deck cord, <laughs> and uh, so it looks pretty awful. 
and the other canopy I had, which I think is from an Airfix Hawk, doesn't quite fit. So, so I'll be getting a new clear sprue because I also don't have the glass divider, and I also don't have the nose light um, either. So, uh, I don't know if people have. Um, uh, I don't know if I said in the last one, but basically I decided to do the the Finnish Air Force scheme, um, and they it turns out they do use um, grey hawks. Here's a a photo of one. It's quite a dark grey, um, and it's grey all over, which is the best thing because I frankly oh, well actually that one's not <laughs> that particular example does have a very slight um, light light grey down down the. Uh, in the middle, but some of them d didn't. I did see other pictures of they didn't. Uh, cause frankly, I can't be bothered masking, masking off lighting dark grey areas. I just I know it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but frankly, if I can get away with not doing it, I'll not bother. So I already be painted all that dark grey all over, and um, and it'll have the drop tanks on it, um, and stuff. So yeah, it should look quite good. A little, a little bit different as well. So. Uh, this has now gone on for six minutes of you staying at Primer Plains with green spots on it, so I'll cut it there. Um, I've had a bit of a tidy around. I, I actually have a, a desk in the living room so I can model and stuff in the living room and keep the, the girlfriend happy that I'm not hiding away in my bedroom, but frankly I've moved a lot of my stuff back through now because um, the computer's here. So this is my workspace for those who are interested. Um... Yes, for those who can see, I'm a biologist. <laughs> it's the textbooks, uh, magazines, books, shelves of work in progress models, the mozzies up there, some planes of war I've got to finish for uh, for somebody. Uh, work in progress planes as well. Computer. I, I've got a whole load of more stuff over in the corner over there. Um, but this is kind of where the stuff I'm using at the time sits. So. So yeah, that's the. Uh, this is what happened to my desk when uh, I cut the mat, which is now curved, stuck to the desk and uh, ripped off all of this. Yeah, it was a bit of a mess. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that might be. And uh, thanks for all the comments. Um, if you're a new subscriber, I've had a, a few new subscribers over the last couple of days, so thank you very much for for that. I hope you're enjoying your videos. Um, your videos? My videos. Hope you enjoy your videos as well, but also mine. Um, and a special mention to somebody who just subbed me uh, today, I think. Um, let me just quickly get there. Okay, so some, somebody called First Jew Photos. Um, who, somebody, some guy from the States, I believe, and he left me a comment saying that he's looking to get back into scale modeling and whatnot after about 15 years break or so, and that he'd found uh, my videos a good source of kind of motivation and whatnot. So if you're, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know what your name is, but uh, if you're watching this, uh, thanks, you know, it's a huge compliment, and, and I hope that you, you do get inspired, and, um, I really hope that you, you stick some videos up. I'd be interested to see. Um, as I said in the comment back to you, um, if there's anything I can help you with in terms of choosing that first kit to get back into um, or whatever, I mean, if, if you know, feel free to get in touch and I'll, and I'll try and help where I can. I mean, like a lot of people, I'm not trying to claim to be a, be a pro or anything, but, you know, I have been, been doing... I'm only just back into it myself, but I did it a lot as a kid, so... I'm starting to get an idea of what kits are kind of starting to get uh, would be good for getting back into it because I, I, mean, I was in the same situation myself recently. So, so I'll stop blathering. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.